What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your, let's see, let's count another, your fifth XHTML tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be going over a couple more tags and also something called comments. So, you know, just want to give you guys an introduction because things are going to get pretty intense and I didn't want to startle you guys. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, let's cover our first new tag and that's a horizontal rule. You remember when I said in the last tutorial that there are pretty much two types of tags opening and closing tags which are pretty much normal and you have these special tags right here so you pretty much have double tags and single tags well a horizontal rule is pretty much a line that goes across your website so if you're saying Bucky why the F would I want a big line <laughs> across my website well it's actually more of like a separator that's probably a better term so whenever you have like a new topic or you want to make a distinct new section of your website you add something called a horizontal rule and why is it called a rule well I think it has something to do with like if you ever got a notebook and it's like college rule or wide rule I don't know I think it's something weird in French and uh, you know because those guys are weird over there by the way did you ever hear a French person or ever see him try to spell shop s-h-o-p-p-e how many peas do you need in it, dude? Easy French Canadian people. Anyways, enough of me bashing on French. I love you guys and your fries. So let's go ahead and make a horizontal rule. So here's our website right now. Best website ever. This is my paragraph. But let's say under this is my paragraph, then I want a line right here so people knew that it was a new section. Uh, I shouldn't say new twice, two different spellings same sound so people would know that it's a brand new section yeah Bucky that's a little better so anyways let's go ahead and add this HR and after it make your forward slash because remember with single tags you need a forward slash after the little key key name or whatever the text so let's go ahead and save this and see what that does to our web page let's go ahead and refresh this and check it out we now have a line across the total width of our website so now it might be a little more clear to someone visiting the site that says alright this is one section and this is another section by the way if you're ever like looking on eBay or Amazon.com they'd have like one item a picture and low description then they have a horizontal rule have another item so you know in the future if you guys want to make an auction website then uh you know keep in mind horizontal rule that's a nice little tip for you that's what I'm here to, uh, you know, give you guys tips. So, uh, yeah, you're welcome. So, anyways, aside from the horizontal rule, let's go ahead and uh, spruce up this text a little more. Say, this is the second paragraph, and now I'm done with these tutorials. Let's learn how to bold and italicize text. Now, usually with all your styling and all the way you lay out things on your website you want to use CSS which we didn't cover yet but for now I'm gonna show you guys how to style text using you know basic um, bolding and italicizing so anytime you want to bold either a word or an entire paragraph you surround it with it with a tag strong so strong let's go ahead and bold the word second and let's just go ahead and copy this because I'm lazy and control V right there so now the word second is going to be bolded so let's scroll over and let's go ahead and italicize I'm done with this so italicize is a little bit different let's go ahead and make a tag and it's actually EM and now whenever you want to end the block of code that you want to italicize let's go ahead and write end em so now it's gonna start right here with I'm and it's gonna italicize everything until it gets to this ending tag em so let's go ahead and by the way em stands for emphasis um, and that means italicize to your browser so let's go ahead and save this and look at our new bolded and italicized text now you can see that this is the second which is bolded or strong paragraph and now I'm done with this I guess that's what, how you would read it and now I'm done with this tutorial I don't know however you read italicized stuff so anyways basically don't mind me that's how you uh, bold and italicized text 
So there's one other thing that I told you guys that I cover in this tutorial, but I can already see that we're getting all clustered up. So let's go ahead and delete everything inside your body again. There we go. Now let's save it. And now let's start with a blank body just like that so what I want to teach you guys is how to add a comment in your website so let's go ahead and make some text hi my name is Bucky and I am very lucky hmm and next you know maybe we can make this a paragraph and maybe we can end it right here And let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, italicize something. Pretty dumb website we have going on, but hey, just an example. So, hi, my name is Bucky, paragraph, I am very lucky. This is an awesome website. I'm gonna post that, get it in Google search results. But, anyways, what I wanted to teach you guys and why I had to make this dumb website is I want to teach you guys about comments. Now comments are little notes that you post to yourself that the browser totally ignores. So they don't show up to the website, they don't show up on the website, they don't show up you know, where anyone can see them. They're just dumb little comments that you post to yourself. So for example, if I was coding this website and I wanted to leave a comment to myself that's saying, you know, um, do I want to change this text right now? Well, I don't know, but I want to leave like a post-it note telling me that maybe I'll come back to it maybe I won't well what you want to do is you want to leave yourself a comment but you can't just type like this you can't just type you know change this paragraph under here or under me because you know whenever you do it's going to show up on the screen right here so what you need to do is you need to surround this in comment I don't even know if they're called comment tags but special comment symbols so in order to that press the less than sign explanation point minus minus and now everything after this is going to be a comment until you get to minus minus greater sign so this comment is going to be seen by you but it's going to be ignored by the browser whenever it comes across it so let's go ahead and save this and check it out see this text change this paragraph under me whenever you refresh it the browser just ignores it right there so that is how you can you know kind of leave notes to yourself throughout your document you know maybe if you want to change something or maybe you know just want to put the date when you worked on it you know if we were you know 10 years in the future that would be the date <laughs> but anyways a comment is basically a post-it note that you can see but no one that's looking at your website in the browser is basically just gonna ignore so um, you might see me leave comments later on with a short website like this you don't really need it but when you're working on something really long or working on something as a team they're really useful so anyways that's what comments are that's how you bold and emphasize text and that's what horizontal rules do so in the next tutorial we're gonna be going over something sweet we're gonna be going over how to make links pretty sweet links to Google links to other web pages and that's gonna take a couple tutorials so that's what you guys have to look forward to but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you guys got any good jokes leave it in the comment section because I'm in the mood for a good joke so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next tutorial